it just tastes like a regular dumpling in terms of the texture, it's minced meat, so that's what it tastes like. The taste is pretty much what you would expect out of a restaurant. You can see that it's slightly turbid or murky because there are cells growing inside of it. It's not like super clear. Um, that means that you have cells growing inside of this. And once we let this go on for a couple of weeks, uh, the next step is to con convert the stem cells into muscle fibers, which is your meat. And that also happens within the same vessel by changing some of the parameters like the mixing speed, the pH, the oxygen and so on. So all of the magic basically happens here. Shrimp culture is one of the worst in terms of environmental effects. You've probably heard of the stories in Thailand where they cleared you know, large areas of mangrove okay, and destroyed all the mangroves for shrimp farms. And then when they abandoned the shrimp farms, the mangroves couldn't regenerate. So basically, basically you've upset the whole ecosystem. Yeah? So by taking the pressure off these areas through basically artificial culturing, you're actually allowing them time to regenerate. Or, to, or not to cause new areas to be damaged. Yeah. So, so it's, it's positive, it really can be a win-win.